Calimera. Good morning. Just barely. It is about 11.55 here in Parga on the Ionian Sea. Today is May 17th, currently 74 degrees Fahrenheit. That is 24 degrees Celsius. A lovely day, warming up, not hot yet. There we have the castle, which I definitely plan to get to today. A very lovely scene here. Amazing scenery of the uh, mountains and lots of green trees and these multicolored buildings. So you have these uh, three bays. This is the middle one and then a longer bay over there, which I think has a really nice uh, beach on it. I haven't been there yet. And then there is a smaller bay around the corner over here. So I'm going to uh, head over there first. And there's a nice beach there. The plan is definitely to get in the water today. As uh, many of you will know who have seen the recent videos, then I rented a car in Thessaloniki, drove across Macedonia, northern Greece, went to Vikos Gorge, absolutely gorgeous, and then came into Epirus, and so Epirus is another uh, region of Greece, of western Greece here, Albania to the north, and the islands of Corfu, famous islands, just out there, and the less uh, known island of Paxi or Paxos, and its little sister island, Antipaxos. I've been to both of those previously. And then you have the other Ionian islands of, let's see here, Zakynthos, Kefalonia. Isaki and Lefkada. I've been to all of those except Lefkada and Lefkada you can drive to there is a bridge to the island and it's only about an hour's drive to get there to get to the uh, beginning of the island and then it's a good sized island so I was considering possibly uh, going there today, but decided to instead have a chill day, not get in the car at all. I've been doing a lot of driving. And instead just uh, explore around here, jump in the water, get some food, get up to the castle. It looks like a good one. So I think the uh, first order of business is going to be getting some lunch. Let's see what the options are. Starting to feel the uh, heat of the sun shining down and making me think about uh, getting in the Ionian Sea. Summer is just around the corner, starting to feel it now. And this is really a great spot in Greece. Hadn't heard about it much before, and then when I did, checked out some pictures and had to come here. So this is uh, in the middle of my northern Greece road trip. I will continue back to Thessaloniki. My flight is, let's see, in three days from Thessaloniki back to Athens. So. The Greek adventure continues. The plan is to uh, chase the sunshine and go find some real warmth 
and make the next phase of this Greek trip about uh, getting in the sea a lot more. Getting some sun, getting some sand in the hair, and between the toes. And looks like today is a good day to start that experience. Okay. Uh, Time to make a decision. Golfo Beach. So there is the beach where I was before and had brunch at a restaurant right there. And then just down is this other little tiny beach, Golfo Beach. Just wanted to take a quick look and then uh, going to head for the castle, give myself a little time to uh, digest before jumping in the water. Also, I'm hoping that the uh, larger beach at the other end will be less busy, more uh, room to enjoy the swimming rather than being packed in by sardines. And if my voice is sounding a little funny, that's because I'm still getting over this little head cold. I'm feeling like swimming in the sea and soaking up the sun is exactly what I need, so... Looking forward to a swim very soon. All right, let's get up to the castle. Greek Taverne, the three plain trees. We have a very special Greek kitchen and offer traditional Greek food. This is a, a cool part of town. Looking down at the other beach, and it is an ice worm. Also lined with the umbrellas and everything, but uh, looks like less crowded, especially if you get over to that end of the beach. But first things first, the Castro. All right, all right, all right. This is working out. Castro, 1380. 
that might be the year that it was uh, constructed or started construction or whatever. I know that it's a Venetian castle. I forget if it was 14th or 15th century as far as what it said online, but wow, look at that. Epic view. At your own risk, excellent. That's what I want. No security, no lifeguards, nobody holding your hand, taking you on a tour. You can risk your life if you want to. I'm already sensing danger. Cannons. All right, this is a great one. A lot bigger than the one that I went to yesterday. So I wonder if this might have been the church. Venetian, so I'm sure they were Christian. Rounded ceiling is oftentimes a church, but uh, not necessarily. So, the Parga Castle is a medieval hilltop citadel complex in the town of Parga, Epirus, Greece. Located on the top of a hill overlooking the town, it has been an important landmark since the 15th century due in part to the strong fortifications used to protect the town from invasions from land and sea. In antiquity, the area around the castle was inhabited by the Greek tribe of the Thesprosians. The ancient town of Taurine was probably located here. Before the strong castle of Parga was built, which survives today, the inhabitants of Parga tried to keep the fortified city this is a tricky one, trying to uh, walk and read this without uh, twisting an ankle. Before the strong castle of Parga was built, the inhabitants of Parga tried to keep the fortified city which was exposed to the sea so that they could face the invaders. In this effort, they built the first fortifications with the help of the Normans, initially in the 11th century by the residents of Parga to protect their town from pirates and later the Ottomans. In the 15th century, as Ottoman control of the region increased, the Venetians rebuilt the castle to fortify the area. And they did a good job. A very, uh, Strong and complex one. A lot of really cool rooms. So lots of arched uh, ceilings, so. Who knows uh, what the church was? I mean, could have been multiple churches and chapels. What was this tiny little room? like the restroom, the bathroom. Could have been, or a closet. Maybe the uh, bathroom facilities were outside somewhere probably. Amazing.
Greece, EU, European Union. All right, man, look at that water. Nice spot to swim right there without having to walk the whole length of it. And boom, there's the castle that I went to yesterday. Really interesting as well, a lot smaller than this uh, Venetian castle, but uh, I love a good half-ruined castle. Too perfect is kind of boring, and just stones on the ground is boring as well. So I love these types, you know, kind of half-standing. You can get the sense of both the uh, reality of the castle when it was alive, and also the sense of time of how long it's been since anybody lived here and danced in the halls and ate and drank and were merry in the banquet room and fought the good fight or the evil fight or the neutral fight. All right, let's head for the sea. And here we go, back down the other side. I love how this whole walk is lined with restaurants with great views. So the water is looking clearer further out there, here, brownish, I guess from uh, that seaweed on the beach there. So I'll take a closer look, decide where to uh, jump in. And it looks like a good spot right about there. I haven't gotten into the habit of bringing my GoPro camera, which is what I use to uh, film underwater, so not going to film getting in, but there will be lots of jumping in the water to come very soon. So I'm going to uh, wrap up the video here, maybe uh, show a little bit more in the evening, but uh, for now, time to get wet and get the feet and everything else in the sand. Have a good one, safe travels. Oh yeah, let's test the water. Oh man, that feels so good. 